And now, the conclusion. Kenny, we, we've grown to know him so well since episode one. It's like when they develop a character so much and you have to lose him. It's like, ah, oh, it's horrible. Do you want to talk? Poor guy, he was just... He was a bit of rash, but he wasn't a bad guy. Like he said, he was a good person. In the end, he That's proved it. Now. The motherfucker who's got Clementine has been and Kenny to answer for. Keep a clear head, Lee. We wouldn't be out here. We'd all been together to defend against Vernon. And we'd be out on the water. Everyone would be alive. Look, Lee, this is a shitty time, but I want to clear something up. What is it? Now with Kenny gone, means Omid and I have to stay safe. For her. You guys would be great for her. Keep her safe. We do our best. You know that. Are you okay? I should be asking you that. Before, in the attic. It's nothing. What's nothing? Let's just keep moving. Fuck. Be careful across here. It's a long drop down. Not the most fun one either. I think we should be fine, as long as there are no quick time events or something breaks loose, as it usually happens in these type of situations. Yeah. Game wouldn't be that cheesy. River Street's just up ahead. I think they expected us to expect it. Whoa, careful. Even the buildings are full. And I don't know where the next meal is. No, they don't. I... Uh, I didn't mean... It's fine. Let's go. <sighs> I still feel horrible about Kenny. Marshall's Hotel is around the corner of the block. We have to cross here. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. Everything's a death trap. <laughs> you had to open your mouth. Who's going first? You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg, and you're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hard. Decision doesn't make itself. I'll make sure it's safe. I'll go first, in case anything happens out there. You sure? Yeah. You don't have to walk across it, you know. You could, like, shimmy down on it and drag yourself across. Oh, if, if this has gameplay in it, you're sure that I'm gonna die five times. Just go nice and slow. I'll go as fast as I want, Omid. Almost there. It's an easy crossing. Good. Well, you know something wrong is going to happen. Figure something out. There's not a ton of options. Fuck it. I'm going for it. Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? Find me when you get down. What the fuck does that mean? It means what it sounds like. Hotels around the corner. Find Clementine and me as soon as you can. 
You're crazy! There's no other way. Lee, are you thinking this through? It's not like we had a lot of options. thinking about me. Oh boy. Come on Lee, we can do it. Clem is on the line here. Nothing is too difficult for her. She always believed in us, and it's time we did the same for her. Revenge on us for the car? Wasn't that the empty car that we found and took all the food? Or, or am I or am I totally mistaken? That would make a lot of sense why he'd want to kill us now if, if if that was his only hope and we took it away from him. The sound of silence is deafening. Something nasty and sinister is going on in here. Did you hear that? There's somebody. Okay, Lee. Be ready! That's one loud door. This rope looks like some sort of trap or contraption. I'm not so sure I like it. Look at door. No, I look at rope. You? Who are you? I got us adjoining rooms. I already told you, she's fine. Who are you? You look horrible. Go over there. Why are you doing this? Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Shh. Yeah. Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. He's gonna know, isn't he? Let's try anyway. This is all I've got, okay? You travel light. I don't believe you. Yeah. Okay, fine. Maybe that was that's what maybe that I was thought. stupid. Or I don't need weapons to break your face. You shouldn't lie. Sit down. <sighs> Do you know who I am? No. No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking, 
who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest. Yeah. Full of all sorts of food, water, things you need to survive. Yeah. I... Yeah. I'm not some cannibal, Lee. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. Everything was just out there for the taking. We were starving. Do for the you... taking? Do you know what you took from me? He has a point. I'm sorry. Whatever it is, whatever happened, you have to hear that I'm sorry. That doesn't mean anything to me. I wish it did. I'm not a bad man. I don't believe in vengeance. But I've got nothing left. <sighs> Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? What? I guess not on purpose. Not on purpose. If it were on purpose, you'd be a sociopath. Yeah, pretty much. I hurt her. So bad. Who? My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. Then you took all of our things. You robbed us. I could have earned her trust back, Lee, but not after that. I'm sorry. You looked abandoned. I, it's not an excuse. I'm sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them. A day later, in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? No. Well, we all do. We all do. Some more than others. I'm not like you. You walked a little girl into a dairy full of sick people and let them get their hands on her. It's more complicated than that. You abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. Lily, right? She deserved it. The sweatshirt she's wearing was my boy's. You stole that from us. We were starving. It was cold. So my family starved in the cold! Yeah, that's excellent points. I can't really defend myself. How could you know all this? You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. Doesn't have to be this way. You can't take care of anyone. After I heard Clementine on the radio and realized who you folks were, I came after you purely for revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. 
I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. No, shut up. It makes sense. It's not happening. Krista and Omid are having her, that's it. Let us go. No. No, I don't think so. You're going away, and we're starting a new family. Okay, you're obviously a bit nuts. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. What are you... I'm glad too. What? I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but it's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> yeah. Oh! No, you're not killing me! Clem! Help, Clem! Oh, I lost it, lost it! He's sick! Do I have to kill him? I don't want to kill him. Okay, Lee, Lee, that's enough, Lee. That's not something Clementine should see. Not like this. I'm not gonna shoot an unarmed man. He... he could come back. It's okay, Sweet Pea. We're leaving. Good. Oh, Clem. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. You look horrible. Thank you. That's what he said. Let's just get somewhere safe. You don't smell good. Yeah, I know. Did he hurt you? No. Not really. I'm sorry, Lee. It's okay, Sam. Hey, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Let's just get you somewhere safe. Yeah, let's just Then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. I'm sorry about your parents. I'm sorry you had to see that. He was going to kill you. And take you. Yeah. Maybe it was not the right cho choice to let him live. I don't know. He just seems like such a wretched creature. Which way out? Through there. I knew that. <laughs> what the fuck? Jesus. He's so messed up. Don't look in there. No, I know. He has his wife, the, the, the head of one of his family members in there, and he talks to... Okay, this guy's seriously deranged. I mean, I, ha I have sympathy for him, because I really fucked him over, and I pretty much caused all his pain, but... Seriously? This guy is kind of sick. So if I had shot the guy, I wouldn't be able to kill the zombie. It didn't bite you. Yeah. I know it. Must have. 
You're covered in all that gross stuff. I had to get through a bunch of them to get here. Yeah, like in the show. That's how we'll get out of Savannah. Uh, Clem, you might not want to look at this, sweetie. Eh, she's oh old no. enough. <laughs> Sausages for everyone! You have to wear this around you as a necklace, sweetie. Have fun! It's okay, it's okay. I'll give you one thing. You have guts. Uh, we'll not the other side. Are you okay? Not soon enough. Happy birthday, Clementine! <laughs> Are you done? A little more. I want to be sure. On your face! <laughs> there. That should do it. I hope so. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, You're sweetie. Missing something. I thought oh, it was gone. Head. Yeah. I Never. You were gone. Thank you. I love you. Stay right next to me. Walk very slowly. Don't look around. And don't panic. Mm -hmm. I'll keep you safe. Is she going to leave her walkie-talkie? It's over. can do this just fake it till you make it this this is not a good situation uh. at least we're halfway there I hope Really hope Krista and Umid are close. No, 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 don't look around, sweetie, don't stop. What, what are you looking at? Her mom? Is that her mom? Oh, this is the worst time possible. What's going to happen to us? Sky and let the screen. 